Hello and welcome back to Let's Try We're Trying Wastelander. I'm still doing a bunch of demos, but uh, this one was actually sent to me directly from the dev, so I appreciate you. I do want to address one thing, though, and I mean, I haven't talked about this. I don't really want to talk about it because it's such a tired conversation already. But we are now entering an era of I don't know if it's AI anymore. Like that's that's what that's the realm we're in right now. And and I'm looking at this front this this uh, title screen. And I genuinely can't say. And you know what? It really sucks because if it's not AI, then it's, you know, this is, is going to come across as a criticism to the people who actually worked on this title screen. And it does look good, but there's hints, you know, there's hints, there's clues, there's little things here and there that, that make me think AI, but we, I, we can't know anymore. And that sucks because if it is AI generated, then that's, that just sucks oops you know the oops oops all ai that's the that's the age we're in now and and uh even genuinely created art it, we can't know and and if it's one way then it's unethical if it's the other way then it's you know then i then i'm the jerk basically so with that out of the way i just like i'm looking at it and i'm like i don't know what what to do about this like what it, it, I, I don't know maybe like i i'm sure that uh, you know someone's gonna l tell me like directly no it's not yes it is if it is i mean i think it should be mentioned that it's probably not a good idea to do that um don't do that S stop that get some help all right let's play some games let's do the tutorial i'm gonna be following through the tutorial this is a blind play I haven't played this game yet, but it looked pretty cool. I liked uh, what I saw from the trailer. You are stranded on an alien planet that is periodically ravaged by storms. Your goal is to have all ruins connected before you run out of time and turns. Scan is a core ability used to reveal terrain and help you plan your path through the map. Scanning costs energy. You can see your current resources, total storage and per income. There's a there's another game that um, this felt similar to. But I'm not sure. I can't remember what it was called. Um, but I, I'm not gonna, you know, delay to, to go find it. Um, all right. So we're gonna throw something there. Build three wind turbines. Now that you've scanned around a bit, find a nice spot to build a few wind turbines to increase your energy output. Okay. Um, items, abilities, core, wind turbine. Except I didn't scan. Can I scan? Tile inspector. Oh, that's a tile inspector. Excuse me, madame. Uh, tile inspector. Can you tell me where I can find Earth? This doesn't... I, I don't think I'm in the right place right now. Um, okay, we, we are... We've built a couple of turbines. Except what, what, what was going on there? Disconnected. This building is disconnected from your base. And will not function until a continuous path to your base has been restored. Okay. Rail. That's rail. Is that what I need to connect it with? Cheaply crosses some specialty tower uh, tiles shielded with uh, while connected. Is that what I need? I do. I don't think I have enough for that. The simple railway that can be used to cheaply expand your base. But is that what's connecting? This is. It's not. Okay. All right. The, the rail is what connects your base. I have to say that's a little bit weird because why rail? Why not like wires? It looks like train. It looks like train tracks. Why not just wires? That That is like very universal and makes, you know, the most sense, I think. Um, most basic form of metal generation, not very efficient. But can we build it? I, we've run out of materials, except we're gonna get some more materials. I see that plus four means that when we end our turn, we're gonna get four plus four materials. Um, reveal a three by three square. I see that I, um, I did like the worst thing I could have possibly done with that scan because I, I only clicked on the revealed tiles. All right, that's fine. We're going to end our turn and we're going to scan outwards a little bit. And I'm assuming we're going to want to get to this tile inspector supply drop supplies uh, called down from orbit by a previous expedition provides a choice of rewards when connected. Well, we do want to do that, but we also want to build other things like an uh, excavator. I guess we don't have enough for an excavator. I am going to get four materials, so that tells me I can build three uh, rails without um, worrying, because now I'll have enough for an excavator. I do want excavator. Oh, it takes in 10 energy. Maybe I don't want an excavator. 
Maybe, maybe I should just build more wind turbines. Well, okay, next time, uh, next turn, I'll build another wind turbine, and um, I'll connect that last part. But uh, I guess I'm spent for now. What is this? The next storm will occur in, in this many turns. Any tiles marked with a storm warning overlay will have their buildings destroyed. Oh no! This will also uh, trigger all pending explosions. Jeez. Okay. All right, well, we're going to pass a turn. We're going to connect to this last thing. We get a uh, supply drop. Uh, provides extremely efficient energy generation and storage can only be built on node tiles. This, these are blue. That's a blueprint. So I get a blueprint. I can't. I don't get the tile, I'm assuming. Deployment. Hybrid storage. Advanced storage facility. Provides storage for all resource types. And dynamite. Is this... Hmm. It, it, do I get this? A storm is about to hit our region. This one is rather tame, but future ones will destroy buildings. Place a scrap wall on a tile to defend it from future storms. Our ship sensors will mark tiles red to indicate that they are under threat of destruction. Blueprints collected from supply drops like the solar mirror can turn barren sand to gr uh, glass. To grass or grass? Protecting buildings from storm damage. That looks like glass to me, but anyway. Augments collected from ruins provide permanent modifiers like deep wells. Be careful, some of these come with upsides and downsides. Relics are ancient buildings. They'll uh, activate once connected. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I'm not seeing anything, like, marked in red right now. Uh, I do want to build that... Oh, do I want to build that excavator, though? I think I need more wind turbines before I, I start building excavators. Ooh, what's that? Ice. Natural ice deposit counts as a flat tile. Okay. Uh, well, we have spent um, all of our current energy. Um, tunnel. As a tunnel to a mountain, impervious to storms, extremely expensive, should only be used as a last resort. Alright, well, I just want to continue building out a little bit. I'll build a couple of rails. Oh, no. We can't get through. I, I don't want to build a mountain, but at the same time... Oh, I should have... You know what? Okay, we've got this hybrid storage. We can put this here. I'm assuming that's going to give us some more growth. It did tell me what it gives me. It gives me some storage, some battery storage. I think it's just energy storage, really. Um, but what I should be doing... Oh, what is this scan drone? Reveals a large plus size area when used. We have this. Is there any reason I shouldn't use it? Clears a small plus size area of storm when used. Scrap wall. Well, we definitely, we want to use that, right? Connect to a ruin. We've detected an anomaly on the horizon. It appears to be a ruin. Yeah, okay, but, um, oh, I, I, all right. I built a wall around that and a wall around that. Cool. But I want to scan. We want to find out how to get to this ruin. Oh, it looks like it's completely surrounded. Okay. Well, that tells me then that the tunnel is necessary. So we'll pass a turn. I think I'll actually have enough for the tunnel on the next turn. So let's do that. Ruin uncovered. Pick one option. Network navigator. Buildings on node tiles are now remote. A remote building operates without being connected to your base. This building does not provide any adjacency itself unless already connected i'm not sure i understand that second part reusable parts when a platform is destroyed by a storm the tile it was on is scrap walled what platforms are no longer shielded platforms are automatically marked when constructed i don't when a platform is destroyed by a storm, the tile it was on is scrap walled. That, uh, I mean, I'll pick it, but neither of those sound very interesting, I'll, I'll be honest. You've learned about all the core components of Wastelander. Now finish the game by connecting to the remaining ruins. This game has a steep learning curve. Some builds will be better than others. Try out as many as you can. It has a steep learning curve, really? It feels pretty not steep right now. I, I, I'm willing to be proven wrong. Um, so let's scan. We've got tons of energy. I'm thinking we're going to go over there. What is this? 
Tile Inspector. Storms have exposed this interface that connects to a vast underground network of machinery. Buildings built here receive double their normal positive income. Counts as a flat tile. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, um, we don't have any more stuff we can do on this turn. We've spent all of our energy, so let's end the turn. Uh, we have one more turn until, um, until the storm hits. Do we want to build another wind turbine? I think, um, since it says yes, reason being is, uh, we want to have more than 10, uh, build up energy per round. I guess I want to go and build a wind turbine on that platform. So let's go over there. I, I want to get have a, an excavator, but it, it really costs quite a lot. I actually, you know what? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I just realized it's not. I thought that it meant 10 energy per turn, but all it means is 10 energy once. That's my bad. Hold on a second. Um, do we have more scrap ball? We don't have more scrap ball, which means I'm just going to straight up lose two wind turbines to the storm. Well, that sucks. Where can I build an excavator? Not very efficient. Most basic form of metal generation. It doesn't seem like anywhere is good. It doesn't like anywhere. Where am I supposed to build the excavator? It says it's good on this. But it won't let me. Not enough metal to build excavator. What? Oh, it costs five? No, it is ten energy per round. I'm I, I'm not an idiot. I knew exactly what I was doing. Damn, I hate when that happens. Okay, well, I, I think that if I build a plat can I build a platform? I can't I can build a platform. Why? A building already exists. I guess I was hoping I could put the platform underneath the windmill. Okay, well, that's that's not going to work. Shielded well connected. I, I, the best I could understand from the, that augment I got was that um, it lets you... Can, this is giving me my res No refunds, okay. Um, it protects... The platforms now protect your... Uh, your buildings so it looks like there's four turns left and i'm still getting more resources um let's connect these rails to this i know that that's maybe a waste of money right now but i just want to uh keep things going i wonder if i connect if i put a excavator on that platform is it going to give me more resources but also cost more money it says positive income, so it might be better to wait until I have enough so I can put it on there. We got some really funky music in this game, that's for sure. Okay, so we're making 10 per turn. I'm a little worried that if I build... Well, okay, we can always build more wind turbines. I guess we can't put an excavator there. It can only go on that. All right, well, whatever. Um, we're gonna pass one more turn, so I have enough. I should really be scanning each round. Um, excavator on this. All right, cool. Now we have zero income of energy per round. Uh, but I'm gonna build a wind turbine on this platform, and we're gonna use our scan to scan outwards. It seems like I'm gonna have to do quite a lot of uh, digging through mountains. Well, that looks a bit better. So, on the next turn, we're going to have a storm. I don't know how to get to scrap. This is a, oh, this clears a small plus size shape uh, area of storm when used. We could use that and protect a couple of our windmills. There you go. In fact, we could protect like, pretty much everything, except I, I, I don't want to use it on just one rail. Turn a sand tile to grass, protecting the tile from storms and clearing any current marks. Sure, let's uh, use those to um, protect our tiles from, from that. I'll have to figure out at some point how am I um, getting more scrap walls. 
it's not very clear how to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in through here build another windmill there go down connect to whatever this is gateway ancient gate by default gateways all gateway on the map are linked uh connecting to one will also connect to all the others oh that's kind of nice I guess I could just wall a uh, tunnel through here to get to that, but I want, I think two tunnels is worth it to maybe get another platform. So we're good now. Storm. Storm has passed through the area, destroying marked tiles. This, the next storm is sure to be stronger. Remember, you must have all ruins on the board connected at the same time and to win. And do so before the turn limit expires. Oh, I have 30 turns to do that. Okay, interesting. All right, let's go in there. Oh, no, that thing's going to be hit by this, the storm. Oh, we can... Can we destroy mountains? Heck yeah, we can. All right, let's... Uh, oh, cannot place rail. Only valid on sand, node, or grass. We can't build on ice. Uh, we can't build on ice. Uh, how do we how do we destroy the selected building? No refunds. Can we destroy that ice? It says we can. Look. Look. Destroys the, the selected building. Um, not sure why it's showing me all of those things. If I can't do that. Can we dynamite it? Nope. Um I guess I would have conserved a grass tile for that because now uh, i mean i guess it doesn't matter we're gonna use it we were gonna use a eh, it doesn't matter what we'll do is we'll use our second dynamite to blow up this one and then i'm gonna put a rail like right here remains co remains connected we should be able to build outward from others the other side okay so we can uh we've got an ancient gateway over here um we're not getting enough energy right now but we should be able to um once i get a wind turbine connected to that their platform i'm not going to worry about the storm right now there's not really much i can do about it put a wind, wind turbine there even though it's going to get destroyed i guess it'll give me more energy for now and um yeah we're, we're we'll have enough energy on the next turn to actually uh scan again and uh yeah I'm, I'm pretty comfortable passing the turn here we go um abilities scan let's scan over there to see okay yeah we, we're, we're pretty much already there so let's just uh build a rail and win as you approach the building an ancient mechanism stirs and the area is shielded nice ruin uncovered pick one archaeologist this ruin turns into a random relic this ruin will no longer be uh, will no longer need to be connected to win. Explosive growth. When this augment is first acquired, every grass tile spreads grass to all adjacent tiles once. That's kind of cool. I like that. Let's do that. You win. Final stats. We did it. We saved the galaxy. Or Mars. Or, you know, Earth. Okay. Um, I can share that. Not <laughs> enabled for beta. Coming soon. All right. Um, I guess that's it. Let's let's try a non. Let's try a normal game. Start. Okay. Okay. So we have to connect to nine ruins. It's a little bit different this time. Must simultaneously have all ruins connected to win the scenario. Oh, this game's a little bit longer than I thought. Oh, we've got a lot more things going on too as, as well. A basic form of water generation, not very efficient. So we need water as well. Water! Warehouse, most basic form of metal storage, not very efficient. Water tank. Okay, there is actually a bit more going on here. Most basic form of energy storage, not very efficient. That's a battery. Then there's blueprints, which we don't seem to have yet. We might not have those until... I don't know, maybe we get them from um, connecting this stuff. So let's connect to this here thing down here. Supply drop. Solar mirror, a complex array of moving mirrors. Converts up to four sand tiles to grass in a trapezoid shape. 
That sounds really good because that'll protect our base, right? Um, anchors the shifting sands in place. Buildings built here cannot be marked. Counts as a flat tile. Geothermal plus one. Geothermal pl power plant that can only be built on lava. I don't know if I have lava yet, so we'll hold off on that. Let's do the solar mirror. That sounds really safe and good. Okay, uh, whoa, well, oh, shoot, we had lava right there. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, that's that's just me making a mistake. Making a mistake. Let's uh, zoot over there. Nothing to zoot there, actually. I mean, I kind of want to get some water. Um, let's build a wind turbine just to get some uh, power generation started. I would love to put another windmill there. I guess the nice thing about windmills or any construction is they count as connections. So you don't have to really worry about like putting them out of the way. They're not in the way. They're actually basically a form of, of uh, connecting stuff. All right, so let's end the turn. So we have eight energy now. Um, we can do some more zooting. Zoot. We have a couple of mountains we could destroy. I, I like the idea of destroying two mountains over here and getting an immediate um, access to uh, those platforms over there. We, there's four turns until the storm hits, so we could potentially save that rail, but it's only one you know, mit uh, mineral or material, right? Um, let's continue zooting. Ooh, what's that? Recycling plant. This strange facility uses energy to deconstruct buildings and recover the metal used to build them. Unlocks the recycle ability while connected. That sounds really, really good. I like that a lot. Okay. Um, I wonder if I put a windmill here, is it connected? No. So I'm going to have to put a... Uh, that's, that was just waste. That was just a waste. Okay, um, well, we can't do anything about it now. Ionizer activated. Oh, we got it. There's another building there. We've restored an ancient relic. This relic provides us with a powerful new ability, Ionize, as long as we keep it connected. Reduces the amount of currently marked tiles on the map by 20%. I assume marked by the storm. So, like, if I use that ability, which it is very expensive, in fact, I can't even afford it right now, unless I build a battery, then it would might reduce the storm. That, that is quite appealing, I must say. And we have a relic over there, and we can actually connect to it. Or ruin. All relics are revealed. Relics shield themselves in all adjacent tiles while connected. Drive anomaly. All unoccupied non-wasteland are fogged. All fogged tiles on the board are then randomly shuffled and redistributed. What? That is so weird. Why would I want that? All right, let's pick Tinker. Okay, so that reveals all of the like buildings with special powers on the board. So we've got Nanobot Factory. From the ancient factory appear frenzied and dangerous. Perhaps this is what ruined this world. Unlocks the harvest ability while connected. Nanobot factory ability turns the sand tiles a wasteland, but has a chance to generate two random items. Interesting. It's too bad that that isn't gonna protect our building there. Also, I noticed the animations uh, repeat when you hover over them. Not that it matters, but I notice these things. Um, we don't have, we need power or sorry, water to build solar mirrors. Um, so what do we need to get water? We need, it costs four power per turn and three minerals and we can only build it on ice. Well, we've got ice right there conveniently. Um, we should probably build in that direction. Let's just pass the turn build over there. Oh, I really wish I'd gotten geothermal. Geothermal would have been really nice. 
Um, we don't have enough to build it now. The water, the, the, the ice thing, I mean. Okay, let's do a scan. Oh, I really should have, uh, tried to get through there. I need more resources. There is a thing for a, uh, whatchamacallit over there. A mineral mine. Give me one second. All right. So, let's... Well, we're, we're about to take some damage here, so let's see. I'm, I'm interested to see if the storm destroys our platform over there. Let's see if that happens. Remember, you must have all runes on the board connected at the same time to win. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, this storm kind of sucks. I won't lie. It's kind of not good. Um, how can we... Like, I want to protect our stuff right now, but also, like, I want to get through the... Okay, do we have an... Oh, we don't have any more... Yeah, we don't We don't have any more um, dynamite, so we can't get through there. We could um, We could use a seed bomb to... Wait, no, not a seed bomb. Sorry, a disperser to get rid of these two over there. So we don't have to worry about that, at the very least. Kind of wish there was a better way to move around the map. I guess left click is okay. Um, I still want the ice mine. How much is that? Three? Oh, God. Well, I needed to connect that over there. So, uh, you know, can't really do much about that. So what we'll do is we'll just scan. Continue scanning in this direction. What is this? Alien shield. Shields a large area while connected. Well, that's something. That's definitely nice. Um, all right, let's end our turn. And now we should be able to make our ice mine. The problem is, is that it's... Well, we have the seed bombs, right? We can't turn that into grass, though, so I just have to... I think I'll just have to wait for the next... Um, you know, bomb to happen. What we should do is I'm going to build a battery... And that way we can potentially um, use ionize to get rid of some of the storm. I do have to build some tunnels through here, unfortunately, unless there's uh, another way around that I don't know of. Ooh, there's another one of those. These are good. Um, those are good for seed bombs, I believe. Uh, if I if I plant some grass, that's going to let me cultivate. Uh, cultivate. All right, let's continue. I, st I do want to get some... Uh, I don't know how to... Like, I, can we build rails through that lava? No, we can't. Can we build anything on there? We can build a platform on there. So we could build a platform on there. That would, that would be good. Um, we have enough to build a tunnel. Let's build a tunnel and then actually connect to that thing. Wait, what? Not enough metal to build a tunnel? Oh, right, we need eight. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay. Uh, well, what we can do is we're going to get four. So we need we need to have just four. So what I'll do is I'll build a couple of... Um, a couple of rails that I know we're going to need eventually. And uh, that way we're not wasting material. Like we, you know, we'll... Uh, We'll get back up to four, no problem. Let's also make sure we're using our scan. Um, again, if we if we had enough for ionize, I would I would be using that. This music is so funky. Um, okay, we have why why do we have? Oh, did I build the battery? What happened? Oh, I did build the battery. Okay, so we'll have enough on the next turn to use ionize. So let's try that out. Reduce the amount of currently marked tiles on the map by 20%. The next use of ionize will remove storms from 17 tiles. Yes. Okay, it seemed to actually help me not at all. There was only two chunks that I cared about. I guess it did remove this one, so that's okay. All right, let's build a tunnel here. We now have recycling plant. It provides us with a powerful new ability. Recycle as long as we keep it connected. So we can recycle now. That costs energy, but we get the metal back, and that's actually really good. So 
So like, for instance, well, we have one more turn before the storm. So let's use that. Then um, we could we could spend ten, nine to ionize again, or we could spend recycle use recycle to recycle this windmill. And in that way, that's the only, um, you know, we get the metal back. We can spend it in other ways. We could even just build the windmill somewhere else. But like, we don't have to worry about the storm just taking it out and, and uh, costing us a bunch of materials. Um, we're actually at four. So uh, I'm going to probably need to build another tunnel, unfortunately, through here. So let's just end the turn. Uh, oh, actually, before we end the turn. Let's use uh, another scan. Zoot. We've got another thing over there. I wonder if I can get through here. Storm. Okay, so um, we're going to want to use ionize at least once. 19 random tiles. I think I'd like to use it again, but we're, we're going to, you know, cool it for now. Uh, I'm going to build a tunnel. I guess here makes sense. Actually, I think it makes more sense here because then we can we have options. We don't have any more material. I really do need more material. Um, we need to get some excavators going. This it, this game has some board game vibes, and I actually kind of really dig that. It's simple. It's a, I mean, it's it's not nothing to really look at right now. Um, no offense, but uh, you know I appreciate where it's coming from. It's very mechanics driven for sure. Let's go there. Explore supply drops are always visible. Scanning a tile places a scrap wall on it. Oh, nice. Yeah, that sounds really good. Scan range is reduced by one. Scans a single tile? Well, that sounds awful, actually. Why would you make the downside so horrendously bad that it would not be worth it? Like, I'll just build scrap walls. I mean, I guess I could do, like, I can build outwards, and then, yeah, scrap walls are nice and all, but... Uh. And it costs one more energy, so that means the scanning is going to cost, like, seven energy. Forget it. Alien shield activated. So we've got some alien shields going on. Do we have any more material? We do. So we could connect this one up as well. Pick an option. Underground storage, high-capacity metal storage, shielded while connected or disperser plus two clears a small uh, plus shaped area of storm when used oh i see so these are uh, things that we get yeah let's get an underground storage and we're gonna want to deploy that i'll just throw it down here and it's protected so that's cool we get a little bit more storage for our um our business look at all the stuff on the map now we have like a lot of information um now what i'd like to do is actually use ionize again actually is that really a good use of our i don't think so actually there's only one rail that is under threat right now um what i'd like to do actually let's end our turn i'm, I'm gonna start building some more windmills there's a lot of good places for windmills now. And we're going to need them because I'm going to I'm going to start building some Oh, we really don't have enough material. Yeah, that and that's why. Let's continue. Let's just scan. And I'll continue uh building. I I can also build solar mirrors, although I don't I still don't have the um ice plant four sand tiles to grass in a trapezoid shape in a trapezoid shape how does it do that that's a weird one okay um let's do i do want to do an ice mine but i really think that building windmills right now as many as we can to get as much power as we can is going to be the deal because we want to get excavators oh i should have you it really should just like either I, I would like it if it almost just like randomly scans something that i hadn't scanned or just remind me that i haven't used my scan yet 
I know that's going to be annoying, and probably if it did remind me, I would complain about it reminding me all the time, but you know how these things go. You, you, I'd rather use it than not use it. All right, so now let's use uh, our build an excavator. We don't have enough still. Okay, end the turn. Storm! Storm has passed. Okay, so we lost one rail. That's fine. We'll just rebuild that rail. In fact, it's not even serving us right now. Um... Let's use... Oh, this is like the last ionize we're going to get to use for a very long time. 20 tiles. It's going to get rid of 20 tiles. And it didn't really even get rid of all of the stuff that we care about. Or the, the storms that we care about. Um, do I have... Okay, well, never mind. We're going to... Build an excavator. That's what we want. Right. Oh, God, really? And I'm assuming I can't use a seed bomb on that, right? Nope. I can build a scrap wall on it, though. So let's do that. I, I really need that material. So let's build an excavator on there and put a scrap wall on it. And that way we don't have to worry about the storm. And we have enough rail. We can connect to that. We'll have to worry about um, whether we're going to get to keep it later. Tectonic engine. Massive machine dropped from space. Explodes the nearest unoccupied mountain to itself every turn. Operates remotely, no range cap. I guess we could get this. Uh, we could take this and then we can um, recycle it when it's done. That's actually really cool. That would actually save us quite a lot of mater materials. It would cost us some energy, but that's okay. Energy is, uh, you know, high capacity water tank providing a large amount of water storage. Oh, storage. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this seems, this tectonic engine sounds really good, actually. Um, so we are getting six resources per turn. I would still like to build some more excavators. We're kind of running, you know, out of time. And also, this video is getting long. I know that. I've got a lot of videos to cover today. But, um, we'll see. Let's, uh... We're, I mean, right now, I don't think I see too many places where that mountain would ma matter. Uh, I do see one place where we could get another thing. Emergency extractor. Rapid resource, resource extraction device. On the next storm, extracts a large sum of resources from ore. Lava. Yeah, okay. Then explodes. We get another reservoir. Scan drones. Let's get the reservoir. I don't think it's really going to help us, but... Um, you never know. And we'll just end the turn. Uh, I'm going to continue to build windmills, but we'll throw down this reservoir. Throw down those windmills. And it's good. Putting them here is the best because um, we'll get rid... We'll actually... We can spell, spend three energy. Actually, do we want to spend three energy for one material? I guess we do because... Um, because I don't really have anything I can do with the energy right now. But we'll get rid of that so that we have one more shielded spot. So there's another thing over here. Those, those are proving to be very helpful. So let's build out. Oh, we can't get over there. Okay. That sucks. I still want to get more material here. This uh, this might be a good spot right here for um, that mountain destroyer. What was it called? Tectonic engine. So we, see, we need six material for that. We can actually build one on the next turn. So let's go ahead and do that. And I... Uh, wait a minute. What? Massive, massive machine drop from space explodes the nearest unoccupied mountain to itself every turn operates remotely no range cap what do you mean no range cap why can't i put it there only valid on lava only valid on lava well that's sucks if i put it there is it going to okay it will destroy diagonally that's all i care about Okay, so we're going to let it do its thing for a bit. And um, and then we'll recycle it and get our materials back. In a weird way, it's a, it's a good way of storing materials. So let's end our turn. 
So it destroyed that. There's apparently another mountain over there. And actually, if we do a connection right now, we'll get to, we'll connect that thing over there. An imitation gateway, a poorly constructed imitation, considered a gateway for all effects. Costs a lot of energy. Hydroelectric plant, very efficient power plant. Oh yes. And it oh it goes on ice. I mean that's not the that's not the end of the world. Um, do we have any scrap wall left? We do have one scrap wall left. Okay, that seems highly worth it. Um, let's go ahead and throw that down there. And we're going to throw a scrap wall on that to make sure we don't have to worry about protecting it. Um, yeah, we just got a ton of energy. My goodness, that that, that is amazing. Um, I wouldn't mind getting an ex another excavator like there. I would like more ways to protect stuff, but uh, it is what it is. We have two turns left. We don't have enough for an ionize. We could spend... If we spent six energy, we would have one left. Yeah, and then we would still have enough for an ionize. We could ionize on the next turn. Oh, wow. That, there's a bunch of stuff that kind, of, kind of sucks over there. Okay, so let's, um, let's end the turn. We're actually being very efficient with our resources right now. All right, now let's ionize. I really don't think that did anything for us. In fact, pretty much every single storm tile that was removed was one that was that we didn't care about at all. So that kind of sucks. Um, this thing is almost done. Once it removes that mountain tile there, then uh, we will be good to recycle it. I'm just wondering... We could build an excavator there. We can't... I mean, it's going to get destroyed. Can we seed bomb that location? No, we can't. We can seed bomb some other locations. I know that seems like rather redundant. Yes, of course we can. I'm definitely going to want to put a mountain... The, the tectonic thing like there. We've got a lot of resources right now, but we have to be careful. I guess I could just build a mountain here. Or a tunnel. I don't like that. I really don't like that, but... Oh God. We'll get something for it, but it really feels like a... Uh, like, not, not a great prize. Another reservoir, not bad. Hydraulic lift. Complex hydraulic lift that uses water to traverse mountains. Costs less material, but it, it costs us a lot of water. We don't really have any water. But still, it might not be a terrible thing. Let's take the reservoir. Don't we already, we already have a reservoir? Oh, that's why it just increases our storage. Nothing else. Okay, let's take the hydraulic lift. We need more ice. I haven't really connected to any ruins yet, have I? One. Just one. <laughs> Ugh. All right, so on the next turn, we're about to lose a ton of stuff. Not much we can do about that. Good God, that sucks. Okay. Let's make some connections. Um, actually, we're gonna we're about to lose that, so we're gonna have to connect to this as well. Oh, this thing removes all mountains close to it. We could just keep it there for a while. But the thing is, is that it's, um, it's slow. It's one per turn. You know, we don't have infinite turns. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, let's, uh, first of all, let's put our windmill back there. I really want to get to that seed thing, the 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 grass. Oh, that's a gateway. It's not. I thought that was a thing that propagated a uh, grass for some reason. Um, we have enough to do an ionize. Let's do that. 
since it's only 20 it only removes 20 percent doing it multiple times like there's immediate diminishing returns unfortunately i want to get some more goodies good lord those mountains are really annoying oh we lost we lost connection to like all of this oh we still lost connection to all that we don't have enough to recycle. I needed to connect this and I didn't. Well, fortunately, it's not going to cost us the game, but it certainly did cost us quite a quite a lot. All right. Well, um what I'd like to do is go over here. We really need water. If we can get water, then mountains won't be nearly as much of a problem. I'm just for now gonna like build outwards a little bit just so I can see. I know I can also use the um, scanner, but I am gonna have to build in that direction anyway. Oh, we could, uh, this is a weird one, but we could build multiple tectonic engines. They only cost two energy per turn. They're kind of expensive, but I, I think they're worth it. If they can get rid of some of these extra mountains per turn. Because we're almost halfway through this game. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's let's uh, let's go hard on these tectonic engines. Do we have enough for a scan? We do. There is some ice there. OK, that's going to that's going to be good. And in fact, it only it's only going to cost us one tunnel to get over there. But in the meantime, I'm 100% just going to keep building these. We can always recycle them if, if we feel that they're, um, they're better placed somewhere else. I feel like we could de destroy this and then build another windmill, but we're actually pretty okay for power, I think, aren't we? I guess those tectonic engines do um, use power. So maybe not. Let's go ahead and recycle this track right there. And next turn, we'll build a wind turbine. I probably should have gone hard on these solar mirrors, but we, we don't have any water, so I, I couldn't really do it. Okay, um, end our turn. Tectonic engines are doing their thing, which is good. Um, wish we had some lava over here. We don't. And I'm going to have to end, or, you know, I guess I can build a windmill. That'll leave us with four. Yeah, we should have enough for a tunnel on the next turn. Um, I like that. The, I, I appreciate that the ruins come with their own scrap wall. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, okay, we're... Pretty good. Is there anything we can do with our power right now? We could recycle something. Wait, what happened here? Oh, oh, nothing. Okay, I I saw the break in the track there. I was like, uh oh, that's not what we want to see. Um, as soon as we have that access to that ice, we can start protecting things a bit better. Orbital cannon. We got an orbital cannon over there. Uplink a powerful orbital cannon. This should be used with care. Unlocks the bombard ability while connected. Okay, well, let's end our turn. Everything kind of sucks right now, a little bit. Connect that back up. Uh, oof, it got hit hard over here. And uh, those tecton- Oh, God. All oh, the tectonic engines are- do these, st do these storms get worse? It seems to be that they get, like, worse. Dramatically speaking. Um, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that on our last turn before the storm- we have nine energy built up because then we can recycle all of the tectonic engines. Oh God, that's in danger as well. Can we put a seed bomb under that? Yes, we can. All right, let's protect the battery at the very least. Um, we can do a dispenser here. That, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the worst of it right there. Yeah, we're going to want to make sure that we are... Uh, we, we recycle all of our tectonic engines. We don't actually even have enough 
resource like storage for resources so i need to build a warehouse um i'm okay to do that we can do that in fact we should do it in a protected zone if maybe they can um destroy this mountain over here that would be really ideal we almost have access to this thing over here the gateway that will actually buy us a lot of breathing room i think okay let's um build a tunnel there connect this thing up two dynamite would go a long way oh geothermal though no i i think the dynamite there <sighs> kind of have the mountain situation under control in some ways yeah let's get the geothermal that sounds like really good um i know we're using all of the lava for geo uh, for the tectonic engines but at the same time um once we scale that back a bit then i think that uh geothermal will be a lot more useful um let's ionize might have helped it did remove Okay, so now we only have to recycle two tectonic engines. It did actually remove one useful tile. Okay, so um, this is a de deployable, so we don't even have to pay for it. Um, I'm going to stay on the plan for now. Okay, we're going to go south. Boop, boop, boop. And we want to build a ice mine right here. Perfect. What is that? Wasteland, ruined land, immovable and useless. Counts as a flat land. Nice. Um, so that, co that ice mine costs us energy, so we don't have enough to do anything right now. We'll do another ionize on the next turn, see if that is going to buy us a little bit more breathing room. Um, yeah. I appreciate that, you know, we've got a lot more space over here, and, and that's actually working really well for us. I can, again, I could destroy this tile here and put another windmill there. Um, but let's do another ionize. It's going to remove 28 tiles. That's actually a lot. This, this seemed like a really severe storm. That I don't think it removed anything that we needed i think maybe protected us a little bit i kind of wish it would highlight the zones that it just fixed just for just for your own you know kind of like say uh peace of mind um okay let's oh we don't have enough to scan i want to go down okay perfect we can get that core mine an advanced metal extractor turns the nearest unoccupied tile to itself into wasteland every turn. Wasteland affects caps at range to remote uh, operates remotely. Kind of don't hate that. Scrap beacon creates a scrap wall around the nearest unshielded flat tile every turn in this valley. Um, that sounds like it's going to be a bit, you know, long term. Uh, I like this core miner. That sounds really good. In fact, I don't even mind if it gets rid of that platform there. It kind of is a bummer over here. Also, I haven't take like just grabbed this this whole time volcanic mineral filter lightweight volcanic metal extractor so it gives us minerals but reduces our water i don't like that um the disperser seems like it's going to be the best thing for us um so i actually think building a core miner here wouldn't be a terrible idea can you build rails on... You can't even build rails on Wasteland. That is kind of a bummer. Can you build platform on Wasteland? No. Can You, you can't build anything. Immovable and useless. Okay, so, I mean, it is kind of a bummer. Um, I won't lie. We have three turns until... But, I mean, that extra resources is just... It's going to go a long way. I am... It's going to go a very long way. I you know honestly even the fact that we can use that material to build around it is gonna make it pay for itself i think um is there anywhere yeah there is okay hold on let's uh we don't have any energy unfortunately so i'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice this one material so that we can build another windmill 
I'm wondering if a warehouse might not be better. Nah. It's only going to give us one more power, but, you know, that's not bad. That's something. We've got really... So, like, we are very far into this game right now. Um, we're 30 turns into 50, but I'm, I'm really... Uh, I have a, a good feeling about, like, where we are resource-wise. Um, we currently we currently do have an extractor, so we have a lot of materials, not a lot of windmills. What what was that? Oh, whoops. So you know what I think would be a good use of our um, time right now is let's I'm gonna build a solar miner or so, solar mirror. Um, that's a trapezoid. Okay, I guess I don't know what a trapezoid is. Um, all right, we're gonna I'm gonna put this here. Wish I could rotate it. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so I'm gonna put this here. Oh, we're not gonna have enough energy to recycle. Oh, I guess we just barely will. Okay, we're we're okay. Um, I'm gonna put that there. I guess this, that doesn't put grass on that platform. That was a complete waste. Damn it. I guess you can only build scrap walls around these platforms. I was hoping to put some more... Like, we really need more ener um, uh, energy generation right now. So, I mean, I'll, I'll follow through with this. But um, I was hoping to put a... Um, put a windmill on that platform and gain more and also have it be protected was going to be a good idea i thought i wouldn't mind yeah we should we should really connect to that um gateway so the good news is we're going to pass our turn now we have enough energy to use recycle oh we got to make sure we spend all of our resources here or else we're just wasting our resources so I'm going to go ahead and throw a wind turbine here just to spend some resources. Then we're going to use recycle on this tectonic engine. I, I really hope that that worked out because it, it looks like um, we actually got too much resources back and maybe even wasted some. Um, I don't need another excavator right now. I think that that would be kind of a waste of time. Uh, having another solar mirror wouldn't be a terrible idea but we need to make sure we spend all our resources here this is important um can how much does a hydraulic lift cost eight water oh my god it'd be cheaper to build around honestly uh okay i mean this sucks but we get something shields itself and one to three times three horizontal row before below it connect, if connected or a hydraulic plant very efficient power plant has to be placed on ice um kind of like the idea of the energy wall but i actually think we're covered with the solar mirror but then this does shielding so that actually protects like constructions we don't have to worry about grass grass can seems to only work with uh, like flat ground basically we don't have any ice. Honestly, if we did have more ice, I would work on generating some more water. So I guess this energy wall is actually pretty good. Does it protect itself? Like if I, it seems to protect itself. I could put it there. Yeah, I, the, having recycle is actually really good. We could put it there just to protect those three rails and that way building them didn't, doesn't feel like a waste of time um and now we're at two of eleven so this is when we recycle our other tectonic engine so we're good there and we don't i don't think we overspent or anything um I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, you know what? We should totally recycle that tunnel. We'll get a ton of resources back. 
my goodness. I mean, at this point, I should like really start thinking about, I, I just need more power. Cause like, if I have more power, then I can do whatever I want. Like I have enough excav, I, I, I have the ability to build more excavators, get more minerals, and then I can just build out as far as I want. Um, tell you what though, I'd like to, let's go down and connect to this, to the gateway and see what that opens up for us. I only see one other gateway right here, but it is like very adjacent to a ruin. We've restored an ancient relic. This relic provides us with a powerful new ability, Harvest, as long as we keep it connected. Nanobot factory ability turns a sand tile to wasteland, but has a chance to generate two random tiles. Of course there's a mountain there. Why wouldn't there be? Why wouldn't there be one there? Okay, so we're good for now. Um, we are making enough energy that we could um, build another excavator. But do we need it? Oh, we've got another. Oh, we've got ice down there. Heck yeah, bud. Let's, let's build another ice mine. And we've got more lava. That's actually really good too because uh, we can start rebuilding the tectonic excavators or whatever they're called. A little disappointed with uh, that gateway. I, I was hoping for more than just the one gate. Um, we've got a lot of options. We're um, on our next turn. Things are going to open up very much for us because we can recycle old stuff. We can rebuild. We can we can do whatever we need. We have enough power generation. We could use some more power generation. That's really where we're at. Um, I would like to build a windmill up there. I would, of course, like to build a windmill on basically any of these platforms. But we're good for now. This guy over here is chugging along. He's, he's turning things. I wonder if it stops working when it everything is wasteland. If, if it keeps working afterwards, then that's kind of just worth it. So the storm passed through. I think I, I'm pretty sure I took care of everything that I needed to take care of. This next one's going to be rough. Definitely need to um, figure out. We could build another solar mirror. We can start doing this. I really, I, I would like to be able to rotate those. We can't, there's no way to rotate things. Um, okay, well, let's, um, let's move down here. I want to connect to this other river. Oh, alien shield activated. Oh, that's very convenient. Oh my God. That couldn't possibly have been a better, better find. And we can connect right to it. Expanded pause. All supply drops choices also award one seed bomb. Oh, that's really nice actually. Extractable rails. Rails have their costs changed to two energy. Rails are automatically marked when constructed. That sounds awful. Why would I want that? Why in... Why in the world would I want that? No, um, I like this other one a lot more. So look at all this uh, potential here for, for building up. Certainly, I could throw down a couple. Well, we are already making enough energy. So actually, I feel like building a battery wouldn't be a bad idea over here. Oh, not there. And it will. Uh, yeah, not there. Don't put don't build it there. We'll build it there. So we've got a bit more breathing room for energy. I do want to connect to um, another ruin. Is, you know, as quickly as I can. Uh, ooh. Can, okay, let's geothermal. Oh, geothermal. I should really get on this. This is a deployable, so this is actually free. Um, let's get on that. Let's build a. This costs us one energy per round. It seems highly worth it. We could build it like here. 
And that way we're protecting like one other thing. And then we deploy the geothermal. We're making a lot more energy now. We're actually making more energy than we can store. So we should build some more batteries. And um, now what I'd like to do, what we're going to do is we're going to... What, what's harvest? Turns a sand tile into wasteland. I don't know if I'm going to make use of that. I might in the future. Let's. Uh, what I'd like to do is recycle this tunnel here. Because we don't actually need it. In fact, that tile is slated for destruction on the next turn, which is really funny. Um, we are making water. More water wouldn't be... Oh, we are disconnected over here. That's um, actually costing us a little bit. So now we're getting more water. We, we need that water. Um, it's... In th I mean, honestly, it's not very helpful. Like, I was hoping that the water would mitigate mountains, but if anything, the what's mitigating them more are these tectonic engines. So let's go ahead and build that back, because that's just, like, very helpful. And hey, by the way, we can now just, like, connect to this thing here. Um, blueprint accumulator. Provides extremely efficient energy generation and storage. Can only be built on node tiles. Interesting. Advanced storage facility provides storage for all resource types. Also kind of nice. That's a deployer, so we get that for free. Or dynamite. I honestly think that the dynamite is going to be more helpful. Because we're running we're running out of time a little bit. Both on this... Oh my god, this is an hour-long video. This, this game was not meant to take up this much time. And that's a good thing. I mean, I'm actually quite compelled by this. This is actually really cool. Um... Okay, why is that wasteland? What is that always been wasteland? Okay, so first things first, let's um, throw a dynamite there and get rid of that mountain. And then let's get over. Oh, we don't have any materials left. Wow. Surprised. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get over to that ruin oh my god another one another mountain stop it with these mountains i am going to destroy it it's like this is important water tanks convert sand tiles they're placed on to grass interesting when a platform is destroyed by a storm the tile it was on is scrap walled right i'm not sure what the point is of platforms honestly Water tanks convert. I like this sand tile. Um, I don't know. I, let's let's do reusable parts. I, maybe I should be building platforms. Cheaply crosses some specialty tiles. Really? Like what? Oh, I see. So we could use that to build over like the geothermal enemy uh, areas. Don't know why I would want to do that. I, I I like those lava tiles a lot, actually. In fact, speaking of which, let's go ahead and throw one down right there. And in fact, we connected to something else. Maintenance station shields itself and all rails while connected. Oh my goodness. Oh, range three. Core mine. Advanced metal extractor turns the nearest unoccupied tile to itself. Into yeah, th this is good. I do like this maintenance station. And it's a blueprint, so we could actually build it a few d times. Um, Very tempting. It would uh, really mitigate storms quite a lot, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I don't know how we connected that up, honestly. But I am grateful. I'm going to wait for that mountain to destroy because then we can move up more easily. Um, hmm. We're getting seed bombs as well, right? Yeah, we've got three seed bombs. So we could like... Oh, those only work on sand tiles. We could place one like there. But now... Um, I get the impression it would be a better idea to put throw down maintenance st stations. So maybe on the next turn... We'll destroy this tile here and put a maintenance station there. Um... 
Okay, we've only got 28 turns left. Sorry, is that really true? No, uh, sorry, 17. We've only got 17 turns left. We've connected three of nine ruins. I'm, I'm being quite slow about this, I won't lie. Okay, so let's um, recycle this tile and throw down a maintenance station there. That's going to help a lot, I think. Luckily, none of our tectonic um, engines are in danger right now. Uh, we have three turns. Oh, you know what? Do we have enough for another maintenance station? We do. Let's throw down, throw one down over here. We can always recycle those, remember. Like, that's always an option. We don't have enough. Okay, so I wanted to build over here so we can, like, make our way to that other ruin. We, I really need to start making some plays towards... I might not even have enough time. I, like, I really probably don't have enough time. I'm enjoying just, like, the kind of um, resource management of this game right now. Oh, we need... We need more power, like, desperately. Ah, uh, you know what? It'd be a better idea to just to throw down a tectonic engine over there and then wait for that mountain to get destroyed, then build a tunnel through it. Um, alright, so... Where are we headed to next? There's a ruin just south of us, over here. Never mind. Those mountains are such a pain in the butt. And I mean, like, I know you could say, well, you should be scanning. I can't scan. I'm using my power for, like, much more important things to tbh oh i didn't notice this this tells us uh what's gonna get destroyed oh an ice mine is gonna get destroyed where is that this one over here uh bummer i could throw down a solar mirror down there it's not too expensive and uh we are actually full on water right now i should probably use some uh like i should build a, a hydraulic lift that's why i went hard on water was so I could get over mountains and stuff. But the tectonic engines, they're just better, I think. So let's build a, a mirror over here just to protect that. Oh, that's right. It doesn't work like that. God damn it. I, I wish that was a bit more consistent. <laughs> I should have built, a, I think, a battery energy wall there instead. But I, I, I don't, I, I, I can't build it there. And I actually don't have enough energy to recycle it right now. Um, I'm actually in a deficit for energy. So I'm going to have to spend a bit of um, my turn here building some uh, energy output. And then we can recycle it on the next turn. Except, I guess it doesn't matter doesn't matter okay um lots of things in danger right now um oh we don't have enough power that's why so many things are not working right now Um, the reason we don't have any power is most of my power generation is on the left over there. Can we build a maintenance station over there to protect these rails so that that doesn't happen again? Um, connect like that, and there we go. And things are starting to look pretty good. We've got a, we've got two tectonic engines in danger. Not good. And we're still in the red for energy? I guess those uh, maintenance stations cost energy. Shoot. Oh no. And I don't have enough materials to uh, make more. Okay, well, I should be okay for the next turn. Those uh, maintenance stations are, are more than I bargained for.
Okay, we're now breaking even um, for energy, which is not a terrible place to be. I really need to connect to that ruin over there. I guess I should be able to, unless there's another freaking mountain. Oh, cool. Supply drop found. Hybrid storage gives us more storage or dynamite. Dynamite seems like more, yeah, like immediately is going to be helpful. I really, I know I should be using my seed bombs, but they are so not helpful in a lot of ways. Like anywhere they would be potentially helpful is, you know, like they're not basically. I don't think I'm going to make it y'all. Have module sand mountains and wasteland within one range of your base are converted to grass. When first connected, ruins randomly convert unoccupied adjacent tiles to water, lava, and grass. I don't know if that works retroactively. I don't think it does. Yeah, I figured that was going to be around our adjacent base. All right, I need more power generation. Oh, we don't have enough. We don't have enough material. There's a ton of... Uh, uh, I wish I could just recycle rails without it costing three. Okay, I'm gonna have to end the turn. Oh, wait a minute. This this just keeps going, huh? When it says adjacent, it just means forever. Nearest unoccupied tile. Oh, God. Yeah, so um, core miners are not... Not as useful as I thought. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a bummer. It's gonna convert that ruin. I think it may already have done that. I'm not sure. Um, I need more power generation. Yeah, the thing is going to eat the world. Wind turbine here. We're actually now in the black for power generation. Could build one here, but then it would that would be kind of a waste. We would get three turns of like decent power generation though. Do we have another dynamite? We do. So I'll build. I'll blast that uh, wall there. Place one here, and then put a wind turbine here and that way we're actually getting like decent we have enough power generation to actually recycle things which is good um let's build down i'm really hoping there's no mountain here please oh thank goodness right, we can actually connect to that now acquiring two random blueprints upon collection batteries cost one less metal okay let's uh let's do science module what did we get? We got Manufactory, Drone Factory Produces one shape Scan per turn Interesting We got Aqueduct, all adjacent buildings Are connected Converts underlying tile to grass Cost three water Hey, did one of our water tanks get Blown up? I guess it did, because I don't have nearly as much water storage as I did. Um, this is quite nice. It works better for rails in some ways. So I could, I could like start throwing those down and then we could, um, maybe pull back some of these, uh, maintenance stations. I feel like I let, I let this game get away from me a little bit. Um, oh, we need to... Oh, we don't have enough energy. What, where's our, where did our energy go? Damn it. Okay, well, that's going to have to be fine. We can maybe build north over there. There's definitely going to be a bunch of mountains in our way over there. We're going to have to recycle this tectonic um, engine at some point. Oh, I didn't mean to pass two turns. I just completely wasted a turn. Ah, oh, damn it.
Uh, yeah, that might have that might have actually just uh, ruined or spoiled the game. I don't know. I'm not gonna blame that necessarily completely, but give me yeah. Let's let's. Oh, oh god, those rails. Useless rails are the worst. I don't have any way of scanning right now. A small moisture filtering station generates water income at the cost of power. No, I think the dynamite is just going to be very useful for us right now. We have enough to recycle. Please, no more mountains. Okay, I can, I can live with that platform hidden cash immediately acquire three supply drops these cannot contain blueprints that's fine future supply drops have their deployment options fixed to always be frontier post shielded structure that provides a small amount of economic output uh, that's kind of cool actually but i think three supply drops is just better um reservoir we could definitely use that Hydraulic plant is definitely going to be useful. More dynamite is just going to be very, very good for us. So let's look at our deployables. Um, hydroelectric plant, that's just fantastic. We need that really badly right now. Um, where is a good place for that? I guess here. And actually, let's go ahead and throw down a maintenance... Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and destroy this rail here. And then I'm going to build an energy wall. Why can't I build an energy wall there? Oh, I don't have enough material. Okay, so this is where we have to recycle. And I'm going to recycle... Oh god, we're really down to the wire here. Let's recycle a, a tectonic engine. I do have enough to recycle the other tectonic engine, which is good. Oh, but there's another one that is going to need a, a seeing to. We should probably try and protect that one with maybe another energy wall. Um, but we're going to build this here. And connect it. And now we're getting more power, which is good. Um... Is there anywhere else that we can we should connect to? We do need to connect. I think we need to stay connected to the um, the ruins. So tempting to um, well, we could do some seed bombs. We have so many seed bombs. Let's just do a couple of those to keep these connected. Um, is there any? Yeah, these two over here. And actually, like I, you know, we can we can use seed bombs and then actually replace the maintenance stations. I think I may have already mentioned that. Um, could do an excavator here, but I, I th that's really risky. I feel I kind of feel like just doing a platform. We don't have any protected zones right now. Or free de de uh, protected zone. So I'm going to go ahead and destroy. I'm going to start destroying rails instead of trying to recycle them. Because I think that's just a waste of power. And um, what does this do again? Produces one shape scan. No, I don't want it. That. Um, I can't remember what I was going to do now. Well, I'm going to place a platform uh, here. Because I want to get to that ruin over there. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to be the case. So we'll put a mountain down. Rail. Then we'll recycle another tectonic engine. There's only one other tectonic engine that's in danger here. So we'll have to throw down a battery. And we should do that. Or an energy wall, sorry. And we'll have to do that right now. Um... Just to make sure I don't accidentally not do that. Then we'll connect to the supply drop. Hybrid storage. More dynamite is just going to be what we need. Um, I'm going to risk running around this mountain. It actually paid off. And I'll dynamite this wall. 
We might actually make it. I'm at seven of nine ruins right now. The last one's going to be a bitch, though. It's like really, really out there. So, um, unless I can, you know, find an obvious way of doing this. If I had enough power, hey, I could have done a, oh, whatever. Could have, should have. End turn. You must have all runes on the board connected at the same time and win. Yeah, I know. I know. So that um, platform provided a scrap wall there, but it outside of that, like, I guess that's actually not bad because now that's a free scrap wall. I could throw down. Okay, that's why that's useful. So now I could like throw down an excavator there and we'll have more material. I don't think that's necessarily worth it. Um, I think we, uh, maybe, maybe it is. I, I don't think so. Cause like, I really feel like we have enough, like material. And if I throw that excavator down, it's going to completely drain our power. Um, let's throw down another couple of seed bombs here just to make sure those stay connected. What's not connected over? Oh, I need a windmill. That's a, that's a, uh, that's a load support. <laughs> Load supporting uh, windmill actually Okay, so that's all connected up there. That's good. This is no, that's not good because this got this up here got Messed with what could we put on lava? I mean I could put a platform I guess Now it is a scrap protected platform. I mean that's not bad. That's there's something to be said about that I don't have any more seed bombs, so I can't protect that last bit of rail but that's okay um yeah let's i'm making a declarative decision and i'm not going to well we'll we'll deal we'll, we're gonna deal with that later i i really just need to focus on getting to that last ruin we have nine turns to do that Um, honestly, it might be a good idea. We should, I should really throw this down somewhere. It would be a good idea to recycle things. If we have spare power, if I find I have spare power, recycle things I don't need anymore. Um, like for instance, tectonic engines. Yeah, we, we could do that this turn in order to like, you know, kind of Wallace and Gromit our way over there. Let's grab this. Mini shield. Shields all adjacent tiles well connected. Um, hybrid storage again. I feel like I should have taken that deployment thing. But um, no, the dynamite is 100% is always going to be what we want, I think. Um, so let's start recycling stuff. I'm going to go ahead and recycle that tectonic engine up there and we're just going to throw down a platform and i don't mind that it's going to get destroyed because then it'll give us a scrap wall that we can then use um did we get another seed bomb we did let's go ahead and throw that down over there and we're gonna get pretty close we might even we might make it i know we don't have a couple of ruins connected up right now but those are that's very um, temporary High capacity metal storage is protected. Hydroponic research facility constructing one will unlock the irrigate ability. Each su subsequent copy made will reduce the water cost. What is... Uses water to turn a sand tile to grass. I mean, that's kind of cool. Honestly feel like this dispenser is going to be more useful short term. We do have quite a lot of those and I haven't been using them. Well, well, we'll use them, you know, soon. Soon. TM. Okay, um, still building over there. Um, what can we... What can we recycle to continue getting over there? I mean, tell you what, actually. Let's go ahead and um, disperse this chunk of storm over there. And then we'll seed bomb that last chunk. Because I'm going to need to build rails over there. I'm going to have to build rails over there as well. Um, 
But what can we re what can we recycle right now? I don't want to get rid of the maintenance stations. The problem with the maintenance stations is yes, they protect the rails, but we don't know which rails are under threat right now. And that's a real problem because it means I can't um, I can't get rid of them. I can't recycle them without, you know, finding out, oh, hey, by the way, <laughs> they like half of your rails are basically in danger. Um, there's a nice ice pocket there. Uh, what, what am I going to recycle? I know I can recycle something. Okay, you know what? It's stupid. Do we have a dynamite? We do have a dynamite. Let's go ahead and, um, recycle this tunnel. Dynamite that mountain and then replace it with a rail. And now we've just bought ourselves a bunch of materials to play with. All right, now platform here. Oh God, there just had to be ruined tile there. Okay, dynamite up, rail. We could scan, but I honestly feel like that power is gonna be more useful in other ways. And we've done it. Deep wells, all buildings on ice tiles are shielded, well connected. Oh, that's kind of nice actually. Explosive growth. When this tile is first acquired, every grass tile spreads grass to all adjacent sand tiles. For the rest of the game, water storage buildings on non-grass tiles explode on the next storm. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, we'll take that. Alien shield activated. Cool. Um, so... I just need to connect the last two things. Is there anything else we can recycle? Because we can win right here. What could we... What could we recycle? We could recycle that. Do we have another dynamite? We do have another dynamite. Okay. I mean, if it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid, you know? Uh, get rid of that mountain, connect it up, and then connect up that, and then connect connect up that. And there's one more ruin not connected. Where? 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 I connected all of them. There, there, there. Oh, this one. Oh, it's still not con What? Why isn't it connected? Oh, it's because that's not a platform. There we go. Ruin uncovered. Hardened pods. All supply drops on the main wa map are scrap walled. Scrap wall remains uh, after collection. I got you. Faulty wiring. So feature supply drops have their option fixed to always be defen defective supply drop. Uh, well, anyway, we win. Score 27. I that was a long, longer game than I I expected. I think for for some that's going to be okay because it's short compared to something like a sieve. Um, I think it's like compared to something like uh, a resource management game or like even a uh, worker placement board game, it's going to feel pretty pretty comparable, and it, it definitely scratches that same itch. I like this actually. I like this a lot more than I thought it was going to. Um, I think it's, it's fun. It's, it's fun. It's engaging. It's, it's got, it definitely sc scratches a, an inch. I like to go for the supply drops and see what kind of, uh, resources, what kind of gotcha-esque surprises we can get. I like to, uh, you know, strategize our next move and try and maximize, um, and optimize how much we're using our resources and how much we're gaining. Um, this game is actually really good. I did not expect this to be as good as it was, uh, TBH. But, um, you know, it looked promising and, uh, I, you know, I do, I do appreciate a good, um, city-ish builder. I know it's not really in the same line. I do want to find out there's, there's another game that was really reminding me of, uh, this, this game was reminding me of, and I can't remember, I think it was, uh, some kind of another Mars builder. And I might've even played it on this channel. If uh, someone in the comments wants to remind maybe they just like, you know, hive mind to know which game I'm talking about. It's got a very similar-ish style, but I think it was achieving different kind of goals. I'm not sure. But um, I might try that one ag again to see, uh, compare, compare notes. But either way, if you enjoyed this, it was a rather long video, so I really appreciate you hanging out, honestly. Um, then definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and let me know in the comments if you played Wastelander and uh, you know what you think of it so uh, I'll see you guys next time take it easy